Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Chromebook 11. The exact model is a CB1C13. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, take you on a quick teardown or disassembly tour so you can see how to safely enter the computer and all the various components you can access once you're inside. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. You have these two screws here, these two here, and these three in the middle. I'm gonna go through now and take out all those screws. Once all the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool, and I'm gonna go on this seam and pop up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. So the seam is right there on the edge. So that came up fairly easily, and there's nothing on the bottom, it's just the bottom case, the bottom panel. After we get our bottom panel up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where all those tools and supplies and replacement parts will be in one list. So here's your battery down here. It's held in by these two screws on the bottom, this screw in the corner, and this screw on top. So I'm gonna undo those screws. Now after undoing those screws, the battery can come up just a little bit, and even though it's best in a computer to never actually pull on the wires when unplugging something, you always want to try to manipulate the plug and not the wires. This is so short and there's no real grips on that plug. So to get the battery out of that port, you would have to just slowly, gently try to wiggle it out like that, which is not ideal, but in this computer, that, that's what you have to do. If you guys want the battery spec information for a replacement, I will have it below in the description. I will also have a replacement battery below in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts for this model computer. If you're here because your computer is not turning on, it appears dead, no power, maybe you see some LED lights lighting up, but no other signs of life, it could be that the battery is bad and needs to be replaced, but it also could be something else. Most of the time, a computer will still turn on and function when the battery is just dead. So if you guys want, I'll have a video up top, also below in the description. It'll show you how to troubleshoot a computer that's not turning on in case it's something else other than just the battery. There's your Wi-Fi card right there. It's held down by a single screw. And then your antenna wire snap onto it here. Black on top, white on bottom. And the antenna wire run across your fan up through this hinge assembly. Now these antenna wire, they're just snaps. They just snap on and off, but they do need to be at an exact 90 degree angle to snap on. And if you don't have them at the right angle and you push too hard, you can damage those connectors. So be patient, play with it. You will be able to get that back on um, if you have it at the right angle. And then once it's unscrewed and unsnapped, it can slide out of that port there. I will have the Wi-Fi card specs below in the description. If you're looking for your own replacement, I will also try to have a replacement option in that link below I told you about with all the replacement parts. If you're having Wi-Fi issues with your Chromebook, it is possible that the Wi-Fi card is bad and needs to be replaced, but it's also possible that it's a software issue. Uh, before opening your computer and trying to replace your Wi-Fi card, make sure that you've run all the updates on your Chromebook and if you have and you still can't access Wi-Fi, try to factory reset your Chromebook's operating system. I'll have two links below in the description showing you each of those, how to factory reset your Chromebook and how to run all your updates. I would try those first before getting inside the computer. Your speakers are right here. You have two speakers. This one is set in there. The wires go across here all the way to this speaker and this speaker plugs into the motherboard here. Now that's just like the battery plug. While you don't wanna pull on the wires in most cases, there's no real grip there. So you do kinda of have to pull on the wires a little bit. You can use a small flat plastic pry tool to sort of jimmy that out as you're pulling on the wires. 
Uh, but again, not ideal, but that's the way that this computer set up. If you're replacing your speakers, make sure that when you put them back, that these wires follow this path so that it doesn't get crimped by the battery and it breaks. So just keep that in mind. Also, the speakers are not screwed down. They're just held in by these rubber washers. So you can wiggle those off. I will try to have replacement speakers below in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. And as a last side note to a speaker repair, if you're seeing a lot of speaker issues or sound issues, audio issues in your computer, it could be that your speakers are bad and may need to be replaced, but it also could just be an, an update issue. So I will have a link above, also below in the description. One link will show you how to update your Chromebook, run all the updates, process all the updates. Maybe it's just a driver issue. If that doesn't work, there'll be another video link showing you how to factory reset a Chromebook because that can help too before you get in here and try replacing your speakers. This is your fan and your heat sink assembly here. Your fan is held down by a single screw there and the heat sink assembly is held down by these four screws over your CPU, which is pretty normal. Be careful when taking your fan out, the antenna wire are run through the fan. So make sure you unrun these antenna wire before you rip that off, you could damage them. And this right here, once you take up a heat sink, if you guys are in here to clean this, uh, to reapply thermal paste, I will have a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a tutorial on how to reapply thermal paste correctly. I'm not gonna take that off in this video because this computer is working fine. And if you take off your heat sink, you should uh, clean it up and reapply thermal paste once air hits that. So I'm not gonna do it here, but there will be a video link below, like I said, It'll be a tutorial on how to clean all the old thermal paste off and reapply the right amount of, of new thermal paste. Uh, I will have the spec information for the heat sink and the fan below in the description. And I will try to have some replacement options in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. Your motherboard is right here. Uh, you have the motherboard spec information there, model numbers, part numbers. I will have that information below in the description. If you're looking for your own replacement, I will try to have a motherboard replacement option as well in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. They can be hard to find, but if I can find them online, I'll try to have a link in there. To get your motherboard up, you would of course have to unplug everything that it's attached to. Uh, you'd have to remove the fan, the Wi-Fi card, uh, you'd have to unplug this keyboard ribbon cable, the touchpad ribbon cable, your speakers. Uh, keep in mind, these type of ribbon cable connectors are very fragile. The way they work, you have a black clip here and a white clip there. And the way they work is you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and you slide it under that clip very carefully and then pop it up. And once it's popped up, the ribbon cable can come out. Same thing with this one, very carefully. Pop the black clip up and the, and the ribbon cable can come out. Now I say they're fragile because if you break those, you won't be able to secure the ribbon cables in place very well, which may make your computer useless. So be very careful. I'm gonna put that right back in there. And once it's flush and straight, I'm gonna gently put that clip black back down to secure it. Same thing with this ribbon cable. Put that in there, make sure it's flush, then press that clip down. Be very careful with those. The other thing up here is your LCD cable and there's just a black pull tab that pulls that right off. Sometimes these pull tabs break, so go nice and easy, pull that and grab the cable and take it up. But that's pretty much most of the components in, in this model computer. So that's the video, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, try the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. And as always, please remember to like and share if this was helpful. If you think it can help someone else, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.